Everyone to stations. Haley, what do you have? Well, even though some things in science are dangerous, scientists take a lot of precautions to make sure they're conducting science safely. <laughs> it's important for scientists to carefully think through their processes, making sure they have all they need to be safe. Goggles, gloves, apron, safety harness and helmets, proper dive gear, whatever the job calls for. Whether it's working with chemicals, animals, plants, remote places, in a lab or any other place science is conducted, you still have to rock some safety gear to do it safely. Hey, it's Danny. Hey, see behind me? It's full of alligators. And uh, do you want to go explore it and make some observations? Me too. Let's go find out. All right, so let's think through safety first. And not just our safety, we have to think about the animal safety too. It's definitely not safe to swim in there. So Captain's going to take us on an airboat. All right, here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need a life vest like this, shoes that can get wet and still protect, and definitely earphones. Buckle in tight and hold on. So conducting science can be a lot of fun. And all the safety gear just ensures that I can do it again tomorrow. Back to y'all at the clubhouse. Thanks, Danny. Hey, Jonas, what are you up to? Well, we are going to take a look at a reaction where a compound called nitrogen triiodide decomposes with an explosion. So definitely don't try this at home. Well, first, we need our reactants. Or before I handle any chemicals, what do I need? This compound down here is very reactive, but as long as it's kept in this acetone, nothing will happen and it won't accidentally react until I'm ready. But as soon as the acetone has evaporated and the compound is dry, we can get kind of a big explosion just by touching it. And it may release fumes that would not be healthy to breathe in. So now I'm almost ready. With the chemicals in the fume hood, I'm safe from any toxic fumes. And I made an extra long spoon to trigger the reaction. <laughs> wow, well, you can see more cool stuff when you use safety first. <laughs> oh, but I wonder if there's another way we can explain this. Experiments are too, but safety must come first To make sure that we don't get hurt Will you need goggles, gloves, or lab coats? Ask an adult to help supervise and be alert Think through all of your steps What do you need to protect? Maybe you need a helmet and knee pads Maybe you need a flashlight to see with Science teaches us so many cool things So take your time when you're learning to do things And be safe And be safe So science is fun and it's perfectly safe when you use the right safety gear and methods. You just have to think through your situation and experiments so you can be prepared for anything that might be dangerous. Mm, but always have your procedure approved by a teacher or parent. So never stop exploring your world. Oh, hold on. 